going down. I have to check if there's the backhoe operator because it's not been raining since last night. So it's now sunny back. Back to sunny days again. But they don't know we are not working on Saturdays. But it looks like they're still not here. So obviously that we will not be working today. It's already 9 o'clock in the morning. And they usually come here at 8. Or perhaps because then it's only a small work job done, they will be in half day, but I don't know. So, as of checking at 9 o'clock in the morning, there's no backhoe operator, so we won't be doing any work today. We are going into, uh, going to Talisay right now because um, I'm going to purchase some of the bundle of wood strip wood that um, OB will be using for his parquet flooring on the bar area so it's Saturday today we have no work so but I just asked old Lito to pick it up because I can't put it on my car obviously because it's a bundle of wood then OB can work on his bar flooring by sorting the wood route it whatever he want to do with it but I'll just source the material that he wants but then now I know where to get it it's in the Talisay because I featured them before when I was featuring all the different lumber like the Jimilina mahogany and I also featured that shop where they have bundles of one by two by eight in 400 for 20 pieces 400 pesos so that will be a good one to use as um, wood for your parquet and I want to see if they can also cut me some of the other sizes that old B wanted so we're still here in Ayala Center I mean not Ayala Center Ayala Center Road sorry and this is what the traffic situation is at Saturday. It's almost back to normal. That now that a lot of people are going out, malls are start to open. Although wearing a mask and a meter distance is mandatory. Although people, you can see that it's not followed so well, but the mask wearing is a must so I'm in the multi cab with old Vito here and as you can see now the buildings of the business park Cebu business park The SRP road is closed, so we have to go through the usual way to go is to the old way, the Pardo Mambaling way. So we are here in the middle of Colon Street. So you can see that. A lot of shops here in Cologne is already open. So we are now in Tabuan Way. And some liko dito dirite. Kato tam agi sa South Expressway na. We have to turn here because we're gonna go by a South Expressway, not the SRP Road. So this here Pasil. Ano ni Pasil ni dirite? Ah, tabuan, tabuan, tabuan way. So there, you can see a lot of people, shanties of the people. Highway kita lagi. Highway lagi, South Express way, good. Mau mana pada umur ni selesai pak RP? Told him that just follow this two van and the truck because they're also going to 
SRP but since it's all blocked we gotta go to the South Expressway so we are now in Pasil San Nicolas This is what life is in the middle of the city. Look, there's loads of shanties and they are living close to one another in a very narrow road. We are now in the heart of the city, near Colon, Sipadilla Street. So we are back here in the South Expressway, not the SRP because it's all block. But we went through the small roads to go here. So we are now back to the old way to go to the south. So this is our Pardo, Pardo Talisay area. So this is like Bulacao Pardo still. And next to this will be Talisay City because the wood area is in Talisay further from the Mananga Bridge. So they have city hardware here in Bulacao Pardo. You can see that it's very traffic here because the SRP is closed so most of the Vehicles are here going to the south. We are now in the Tabunok Talisay Market. So it means that we're nearer to the place where I'm gonna get those um, wood. So next to this market is the Mananga Bridge. After two days of gray clouds, sky is always like drizzling. Now it's really, really hot. So that's Mananga Bridge. So you can see Wilcon Depot here, the big one. So you have to pass this way even though you go by a SRP if you're going to the south of Cebu. Mananga Bridge is the way to go to the south. So, around this area, this is where the wood. parking. So, I need to just buy a little I'm here now in the lumber place here in Talisay for the parquet order of Old B. So they have some wood available here ready to go. This is like 1 by 2 by 8 and this is the one he's gonna use as parquet. 1 by 2 by 8 and they're giving it to me for 290 per bundle so they have also other type here the one by 
two by six. So you can see there's a lot of wood here that you can have it cut because they got their cutting machine over here. So we are choosing all the wood that's not um it's all on mahogany because this is side here is soft wood barricata but this is mahogany that one I'm buying for three hundred four hundred twenty oh no three hundred twenty per bundle of ten so I'm buying like ten bundles and we still have here this is for his parquet wood style on the bar flooring so old B will be doing this himself and of course maybe with the help of Junelle once in a while so we're still selecting the bundle of wood to avoid all a lot of very thin strips so the measure of this one is two by one by seven so the seven foot was the length because they don't have the uh, mahogany in eight foot this is all the barricata one here which is eight foot and it's the soft wood so i'll rather have the um mahogany wood because it's harder so this is how you buy your um raw lumbers here in the lumber places on the trades trade place here in talisay cut me the 2 by 4 by 8 that um, old B just text me to have bought and then the mahogany for that one is 2 by 4 by 8 is 320 per piece kanan street dong ha kay isaog mangud ga paliho ga i asked him to have choose the straight one because um, it's for flooring so during my um, canvassing for the wood they are the cheapest that I have found So the Jumilina prices here per board feet is 60 pesos per board feet. And the mahogany and the Jumilina is the same price because they're both hardwood. So these are the strips of wood for his parquet flooring. So I asked Old B. How long do you think you will be finished with this bar? And he said to me, July. So I said to myself, I said to him that it's not so bad then. July, we're June now. I didn't realize that the July that he meant is 2021. So he got uh, over a year to finish his bar. Like I said, it should be like a work of art if you're taking that long. So he will be the one cutting this off. Or whatever he designed it with the routers and he's now buying all his other tools for the job so 60 pesos per square board feet it's quite dear I mean I will I'm glad that um, old B didn't get so many because I'll try to get the Jibelina if it's gonna be cheaper on that timber jack that I'm dealing with before this is another furniture making place they are um, dealing with wood and you can design it and mahogany and jimelina look at this one this is a double bed and this is an order and these are the places that you can have made to order designs of your wood furnitures or you can even like i said 
you can buy uh, the actual raw wood if you're into furniture making this is called SBQ furniture is here SBQ is right on the highway of Talisay going to the south SBQ furnitures and this is their telephone number 0932 SBQ furnitures So all you have to do is to get the mattress and then you can also have some cities, cabinets, dining chairs, dining tables, all sorts of wooden furniture. You can see around here they got a lot of competition because across is another furniture making company. So this is the bed, double bed. 5,800 you know the uh, French windows that I'm asking their their price here is 900 per panel much expensive than city hardware which is already painted and everything you only have to add uh, glass so this is here this is the highway of Talisay and then going to the south of Cebu so we have our wood in the back of the multi-cap, 20 bundles of the 1 by 2 by 7 of mahogany instead of the soft wood barricata which is 1 by 2 by 8 in 400 per bundle, 10 pieces per bundle. So I'll rather have the mahogany because it's stronger wood and also all be wanted uh, 2 by 4 by 8 which is... Um, they cut me from Jimelina wood at 60 pesos per board feet so what I found there on the other side the furniture maker is 900 pesos for the panel of French windows which is quite dear because I could get the French windows in city hardware at 550 it's already tainted and ready to go so it seems like that's the way that I will do this is to have that from City Hardware. So we are here now in Tabunok Market, Tabunok Talisay. It's very traffic even though it's still on general quarantine because of SRP Road is closed. So there's no more barrier to enter Talisay City during like Unlike the ECQ, we are not allowed to come here. We are just confined in Cebu City. As well as we are not allowed to go to Mandawi City. But now it's all open borders. So we are going under the underpass here in Mambaling. This is a newly built underpass to solve the traffic here in Mambaling. Because this is also where it clogs up all the time so you can see that this is a project of the former mayor Mayor Osmania but it does help with the traffic with Mambaling because usually on top of this um, overpass uh, underpass rather that's where during the rush hour it clogs up for how many hours it only moves a little bit despite the presence of the SRP so now we're back on the main road so on the way there is the only one traffic but now we're going back home it's not traffic anymore we just flow
we're still here in Mambali, Cebu City.